that it wasn't third time lucky for SpaceX's latest attempt to launch its mammoth Starship rocket. Now, the team lost contact with it as they tried to bring it back down to Earth. Now, the success, though, still held a success because uh, it's an improvement on previous launches. The first rocket, uh, it exploded four minutes after liftoff. So, the big question, is this progress or still work in progress? I spoke to technology journalist Chris Stokel-Walker and asked him how this compares to previous previous efforts. The first two obviously flamed out quite significantly. This one, we do have to bear in mind, it has ticked off some successes. So 230 kilometres altitude, that's further and faster than ever before. Uh, it got through several stages and actually got into orbit. The, the re-entry proved to be the issue. We had had some hints that maybe something was a little bit wrong because we lost some telemetry data and a little bit of video feed but um it does suggest that things are progressing and for elon musk who is uh you know trying to run this company as almost like a service user for nasa that is a significant moment so yeah uh, i think one step back ben but maybe still two steps forward uh, and therefore talk to me about the possible implications if and when and one assumes that it will eventually be successful with enough of the tests uh, what does it unlock what does it unleash in, in, in terms of the commercial opportunities of space yeah, so it's probably worth pointing out what exactly this is. So this is the, the Starship system that's developed by SpaceX. So it's designed to be a kind of reusable rocket, a way of getting both cargo and people into space outside of Earth's orbit. And one of the things that we've seen over the last decade or more is that you know, NASA, the ESA, the European Space Agency, and more national space agencies that are government funded have drawn back their uh, funding for these sorts of efforts as budgets get tighter and things get more difficult. So in their place, we're seeing private enterprises like SpaceX starting to offer those services. So for SpaceX, if they manage to get this right, then it's the the kind of fulfillment of a, a multi-billion dollar contract with NASA that would involve them essentially shipping people and cargo up into space for regular missions that happen. And the ultimate goal, I think, is that um, this will kind of be part of NASA's moon program called Artemis. So the big goal is that we eventually get back onto the moon and NASA can't do that by themselves anymore. So SpaceX is going to help them out.